Viruses are very bad. Flu kills probably something of the order of half a million people a year. HIV still kills something like a million people a year. The COVID-19 virus has killed probably in excess of 10 million people already. And smallpox in the 20th century killed 300 million people. It didn't kill anybody after 1978 because of vaccination. Vaccines are absolutely essential for combating infectious diseases. Viruses mutate so rapidly, we need to uh, change the vaccines to keep up with them. Vaccines work by giving your body kind of a taste of what some of these viruses would look like. Your body then has a chance to physically map the antigen or the protein that's from the virus and then make antibodies that can actually recognize that. A universal vaccine is a vaccine that will induce neutralizing antibodies that recognize and latch onto more conserved parts of the surface protein structure. So what one wants to do with universal vaccines is to induce what we call broadly neutralizing antibodies. So here we are looking for antibodies that can recognize those conserved regions that can be resistant to variants of concerns and also to be prepared for any future emergence of new coronavirus. It's all about shapes. That's what antibodies see. Antibodies see shapes. So if we can image these antibodies, if we can look at the way that they're binding to the, their targets on the surface of these viruses, then we can take those shapes and incorporate them into vaccines. Imaging, particularly electron microscopy imaging, which is what our lab does, can provide molecular details to a very large set of viruses and antibodies and looking at the interface between viruses and antibodies with atomic precision. That atomic precision allows you to design vaccines for the future. In 2016, my lab was working on the structure of coronavirus spike proteins before any pandemic or, or really any concern. Some of the technology that spun out of that in terms of being able to stabilize the spike protein was critical for the rapid development of the COVID-19 vaccines, particularly in the mRNA platform. It has been estimated that COVID-19 by the year 2025 will have cost the world economy $28 trillion, which is an unbelievably large amount of money. I think that influenza flu could cause an equally large pandemic. And universal vaccines are one way in which we can prepare, but that requires a lot of basic science to be done, a lot more understanding of immunology and virology and vaccinology. But when you consider that $28 trillion figure, it's a small investment. <laughs>